Now, in addition to all the health challenges that come with being diabetic, treating simple wounds can be far more difficult than what most people experience, and the reasons are many. In order to be vigilant with this type of problem, having an expert on your side really is key. So to that end, I'd like to introduce Dr. Ralph Napolitano, a wound care specialist with Ortho Neuro, the sponsor of this segment. So good to see you again. Good afternoon. Thanks All for right. having me. You know, it's, it's fitting because it is Diabetes Awareness Month. So let's talk about this topic a little more in depth, doc, in depth doctor, and, and talk about the basics, really, and why it is so challenging for someone with diabetes to handle something seemingly so simple. Sure, sure. So my uh, profession, I'm a podiatrist, so we take care of a body region, not just an organ system. And with diabetes, it doesn't, doesn't just affect one body part, it affects all of your body in different ways. So uh, certainly our sensation can be compromised, circulation, and high blood sugars, when not in control, can affect all these processes. And wound healing is certainly a large part of uh, this sort of uh, metabolism that goes awry, if you will. And so what would be considered maybe a longer than normal healing time? It, it, does it take a week for us and three weeks for someone with diabetes? It's a good question. So a benchmark we like is to try to get a diabetic foot wound better by 50% in one month. Okay. Prognostic indicators uh, are, suggest if we do that, folks will do a lot better. If we go longer than that, it's more of an uphill battle, if you will. Does this run the gamut as far as the kind of wounds we're talking about? A simple scrape versus maybe having surgery? Sure, sure. It can. So folks that uh, don't have good blood supply, if you're diabetic, folks that have high blood sugars, uh, you have an, immun um, an immunological defect that can affect all of this. So uh, certainly those things that um, are not uh, appropriately controlled affect the normal healing cascade. So when these things aren't controlled, this certainly affects that normal healing response. And, and how does kind of the cleaning of the wound, things that you would do right after something happens, how does that play into it? Do you need to be more aggressive up front with the care? That's right. So keeping your uh, wound bed in what we call a Goldilocks zone, if you will. So keeping things uh, debrided from um, outside debris, if you will, things that are biologically not appropriate. So wounds get stuck in this inflammatory phase. Okay. So by cleaning a wound, debriding it, as we say, removing devitalized tissue, assuming post-circulation uh, is decent enough to handle that, this keeps that healing cascade moving along. And so as a podiatrist, when do people come to you? When is it the point where they say, okay, this isn't something I'm handling well on my own? Sure, sure. Well, um, it's a lot of times we say it's not what we put on a wound, but what we take off a wound, ergo pressure. So that's a challenge. You know, we, we lead busy lives, so we want to maintain a healthy lifestyle, you know, throughout all, all of our years as we get older. So uh, taking pressure off of that wound is certainly very important. That's where uh, my profession plays a significant role. Basic things, certainly in a diabetic patient, uh, can help a lot, but uh, we have to make sure that we're not missing something. And again, controlling all of these things that can go awry, it's important to intervene early on. I, I referenced having uh, that decrease by 50% in one month, very important. So after that, it can certainly affect long-term prognosis. And so do you also, when we you know, talk about a surgical wound, do you have to take precautions prior to that mm -hmm. Uh, as well as, you know, maintaining that treatment after? So it's a good question. So elective surgery, okay, we have a, a benchmark where we monitor sugars uh, in, in diabetic patients, a hemoglobin A1C, and that's a measure of blood sugar in about a three-month period. It's a, a range, okay? If you're not diabetic and if you are poorly controlled, like double digits is not good. So we like at the most a hemoglobin A1C of eight or below. Now, if you can do even better than that between five and six, that's an A student. So certainly your tighter blood sugars certainly will uh, help healing uh, with that surgical outcome. And I do want to mention, uh, definitely worth noting, you were the first podiatrist in the state of Ohio to actually earn the board certification as a wound specialist physician. So why was this path, this focus, really so important to you? Why did you feel so passionate about it? Well, if I can digress a little bit, my, my grandparents were cobblers. And um, around the dinner table, my grandparents talk about shoes. And I think you know, taking care of the foot was part of... Uh, uh, my upbringing, if you will. So uh, this area of, uh, of anatomy, you know, it's, it's often overlooked. So I, um, I, I found this path and with my profession, taking care of wounds certainly goes hand in hand. Most uh, chronic wounds we see are in the lower extremity, okay? So you have circulatory problems, you have diabetic foot problems. If you even have an elective foot surgery, uh, it's the, again, this anatomic area is the farthest thing from the heart. So that can be uh, compromised, even in someone that's young and healthy. 
Uh, my group at OrthoNeuro, we do uh, very advanced surgical uh, procedures. I, I work with uh, two partners in my foot and ankle division, and even if uh, we do a, a very excellent orthopedic surgery, moving tissue around is sometimes a challenge. So folks come to us for you know second and third opinion. So we have this whole profession of orthoplastics now uh, that my field is uh, starting to see the inception of. So it's um, pretty, pretty exciting uh, yeah, things on the horizon. Definitely. And it is something I think that a lot of us until we are in, you know, that position take for granted that our feet feel good and healthy and that we're able to kind of have that in our lives. So I want to let people know you can reach Dr. Napolitano. Orthoneuro.com is their website. So I appreciate you being with us. Thank you. Appreciate the time.